Hello, Sydney. Let's take the train to anywhere. I want to feel the wind in my hair with you. Let's tell them all that soon they'll know how very wrong they were to think we'd never go. And if you tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. And we will clean the cobwebs out if we want and not is mine. Don't ever say you've tried to leave me in this life Don't ever say you've tried for the last time We'll get a house where the trees hang low And pretty little flowers on our window The milkman and the butcher, Mr. Timms, will give us discounts when he can. And if you tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. And we will clean the cobwebs out if we want it. Not is mine. So don't ever say you've tried to leave me in this life. Don't ever say. so incredibly wonderful to be here. What a privilege to be playing in front of you all, in front of the Opera House, in the Harbour Bridge. It's just, it's kind of sickeningly beautiful, really, isn't it, right now? Stupid. Stupidly beautiful. So uh, I'm going to play you guys um, a, uh, a smorgasbord of songs in this set from all of my albums. And... Um, so this next one I'm going to play is actually my, my, uh, my latest single. I put out a best of um, album uh, recently called The Special Ones. And uh, it's got a new song on it called Arrows that I wrote for my husband to sing to him on our wedding day. And uh, I wrote it for him because, well, he kept pestering me to write him a love song. And I wanted to shut him up. So this is a song about two people on very different trajectories, seemingly on very different trajectories, um, experiencing very different um, kind of ups and downs in their lives, but ultimately kind of meeting up um, at the end and finding each other, as me and, and Dan did. It seemed like a very unlikely relationship, but it, 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 um, it works. And uh, I think... This, I called it arrows because there's a lot of arrows in our story. We both got arrow tattoos on our feet when we got engaged and our son's middle name is Arrow. And I had this idea of like parallel arrows as the perfect metaphor for a relationship, not getting all tangled up in each other. And I just really like arrows. So that's what I call the song. Here it is. When the fire burned low 
I was moving in circles, waiting for you to show. Thinking too fast, trying to breathe slow, longing for the handle to turn on the door. And every sign you passed along the way looked twisted and burned. With messages in languages you'd never seen or heard, but you drove on anyway. And oh, now, well, all of a sudden you're here and I just can't remember a time when you were. It's true, I had to believe that all the signs were arrows pointing you to me. Steady were the wheels under every bus, chasing a horizon nobody ever touched. Singing into lies, questions over chords, hearing not an answer but the silence of applause. And every hand I tried to hold would fit there a while To one of us grew tired of pretending it felt right And the emptiness had burned It's hard to make yourself leave space for someone that may never But all oh, now, all of a sudden you're here and I just can't remember a time when you were and it's true. I had to believe that all the signs were arrows pointing you to me. They were pointing you to me Every door that hit my face Every head is sent I chased Every oil slick mountain road Every black Sold. Every twisted, shouted word Every God I never heard Every smile he yanked from me Every light I could not see I'm thinking it's true Oh, well, we've had a really amazing time on the road with John Butler the last couple of weeks. There's been a lot of... I've, I've had my family on the road, which is a, a husband and a four-year-old boy and a six-month-old baby. And um, 
We've all been sick about three times over. And I tell you, there is a lot of snot that comes with sick toddler and sick baby and sick adults. It's, uh, it's not for the faint-hearted touring with kids, I have learnt. But it's been really, really fun having them side-staged and watching and my little six-month-old Luna is side stage now on her little earmuffs over there, <laughs> waving her little legs. You can come out and say hi. There she is. Luna! And there's my, <laughs> there's my nephew, Alfie. He wants it. <laughs> you want your moment in the sun too, Alfie? Oh, God. That's a worry. You guys are totally free to dance on stage if you want at any point tonight, okay, boys? And Luna. The more the merrier. Most of my songs are slow and depressing, though, so just wait till the end. Just a warning. This is everyone's waiting. I know all the lines to say The part I'm expected to play But in the reflection I am worlds away As I put my costume on All ashes one by one been doing this so long, I could tie the knot behind my back. And everyone's waiting, but it's getting harder to hear with my heart. Cause everyone's waiting I just swallow and breathe She says Remember the same for you It's for them And all of those painful had to learn You gotta use them now Or never Cause everyone's waiting But it's getting harder to hear When my heart is saying Turn it on
so much. All right, boys, you might be able to dance to this one. Boys and girls out there, that goes for you too. Oh, maybe, actually. It's kind of mid-tempo. It'd be a weird kind of swaying dance. We'll get, we'll get faster at WA, I promise you. What day is it today? Friday. You've been getting on the sauce? That's what usually happens. <laughs> Which means you either want to cry or dance, depending how you go with alcohol. You can do both at my set. What was it? The boat. The boat. The boat, the boat just honked. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> how rude. God, it's a bloody big boat. All right, let's do this. Sorry. So we've put an end to it this time. I'm no longer yours, and you're no longer mine. You said this hill that's far too steep, but I'm not even sure that it's me. <laughs> the boat stopped farting while we played that song. That was nice of it. Upstage, that's what it's boat farting. 
<laughs> All right, this next song is like the sequel to 10 Days. I wrote this song a few years later after the relationship had disintegrated. And this was like my, my therapy to get through it. And uh, a bit of an FU as well. Bit of, bit of a revenge song. That's what songs are good for, really. One, a two, a one, two, three. was called Solastalgia and uh, before this, very shortly before this best of came out and um, it's very apocalyptic in nature. I wrote a lot of it um, after um, uh, having my, my first child and kind of thinking about a second and um, all the anxieties that were coming up about bringing children into the world of climate change and um, it was a, a real um, kind of moral dilemma for me and, and it gave me a lot of anxiety and I dealt with it in strange ways. I started like watching a lot of zombie TV shows and, and I was really drawn to post-apocalyptic literature. It was almost like I was kind of facing, wanting to face the, the, the worst possibilities um, in order to cure my fear. Um, it, it didn't really work but I got an album out of it. <laughs> So a lot of the songs on the album are little kind of snippets of a potential uh, um, apocalypse. And uh, this next song is, is one of those little stories. It's, uh, it's kind of um, a, a, a story about, uh, about the final moments. It's called Don't Look Down. Save my dear 
But if this is the end, this is the end If this is the end, this is the end Let it begin And hold me Like there's no need to be scared Like we never needed our bodies Like we have a life to spare Hold me Like we never needed this town Like the world's now falling around us But don't look down I've been waiting for this moment I tried everything I had I beg to God I don't believe in To let us start over again Cause we made mistakes, I know it's true We put ourselves above the rest But if we knew that it would bring us here We'd never have made but if this is the end, this is the end If this is the end, this is the end Let it begin And hold me Like there's no need to be scared Like we never needed our body Like we have the life to spare Like we never needed this town Like the world's not falling around us But don't look down Don't look down This song's the happy one on the record. It's the it's the least apocalyptic of the lot. It's another song that I wrote. I wrote this song about meeting my husband in Broome. In a, he was my my uh, good friend's housemate, and I popped over for a spontaneous cup of tea, and he walked out. He just popped out of the shower, and sparks flew, and we got talking. And later that night, I ended up um, uh, serenading him. On the on the futon couch with a uh, a Colin Hay song, and then a few years later, I, uh, I ended up walking down the aisle to that same Colin Hay song. So this is the story of the futon couch and all that it saw. I was sitting on a futon couch in a far off town where the desert meets the sea. You were only wrapped in a towel when you walked out the spare room of my friend's house. Oh, I feel I've met you before Something inside me is trying to remember a story Oh, I think I've loved you, I've loved you before Something is tugging my sleeve like a secret 
desperate for the future Maybe this is us now Maybe this is us Hey, hey, what do you say? Wanna make history start today Hey, boy, what do you say? We jump from here Hey, what are you thinking? Leaning up against the kitchen sink Cause I see everything Gonna leave that town where your friends always drop by unannounced for tea. Oh, and when the pain of the world was swallowed, when the sun set white, you queen. Oh, and you had heard it before. Nothing has changed until everything changes at once. Oh, and you, I felt it right down to my core. Something was rotting itself on the walls of our future hearts. Hey, hey, what do you say? Wanna make history start today? Hey, boy, what do you say? We jump from here. Hey, you know what I think? You'll be kissing me against the kitchen sink. Cause I see everything now. Sitting on this food torn couch. Sitting on this food torn couch. Ah, oh, cause I see. Of his small hand, I see the light. Fingers intertwined, I see a cup thrown inside, and the breaking of the night. I see me walking towards you to the sound of coming. Hey, I see the earth spread down the center of our pain, but I see it's worth it. Cause I see it all. Sitting on this food
we snuck into the cemetery at night. Oh, Thank you so much. So I'm going to sing you a little, little uke song now that I wrote for my boy, Sammy. Sammy was always, um, he's never much liked me singing around the house. Or playing piano for that matter. <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he's kind of, he's, he's always told me to shut up if I start singing <laughs> or, just, or just shout at me, stop singing. And, uh, I, and, I, and I try to tell him that I'm, I'm actually really, I'm actually really successful. I'm actually really, I'm like, I'm talking to this three and a half year old. So I mean, I'm actually really successful. Lots of people really like me. Um, <laughs> and she does not give a shit, obviously. Um, but it's funny because ever since he's become old enough to realise that a couple of songs are about him, it's really perked up his ego. So now this song's called Song for Sammy and now he requests it constantly. Off anybody, off waitresses, people at the airport, you just ask them to sing Song for Sammy. Of course nobody knows it. But this is a, this is a little kind of lullaby that I wrote for him about about parenting and just all the crazy emotions that it brings up when you first become a parent. This is the first time that I've ever loved anything more than life itself. I never knew my heart could expand to this size. This is the first Time that I've ever jumped out of my head and left it behind in a dull thing that I want to go back inside. How could it be those little toes grew inside of me? I never made anything so perfectly. This is the first time that I've ever seen beauty in dust caught by the sun light falling around us in the quiet. This is the first time that I haven't been able to keep out all of the pain that goes on. Cause Every man now is somebody's son How could it be His little hands grew inside of me I never made anything so perfectly Oh, but the nightmares They won't stop 
ones where I can't find you Or I've left you alone in the dark And I run screaming, shouting, where's my baby? Where's my baby going? Without him I simply could never go on This is the end and also the beginning of everything we are. We were one and two, now we are three. How could it be his little heart grew inside of me? There's so much to lose now, it's terrifying. But look what we made Isn't he just perfect? Thank you. It's funny, I, I, the, the bridge of that song is about those nightmares that you, those reoccurring nightmares that you have of, of um, losing your child or not being able to find them. And, it, and my last night's dream literally just came back to me during that song. I had a dream that I lost Sammy again and it was terrifying. And I have those dreams all the time. And last night I'd also forgotten to put my clothes on when I walked outside. That's another re reoccurring dream. It was like two, two nightmares crossed into one. I really didn't need to share that with you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to play a song now that um, my husband dared me to play because uh, we, at, 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 um, when we kind of first fell in love in Broome, he uh, had asked me to sing in his covers band a Kiss song called I Was Made For Loving You. And so we, uh, we duetted. He's got this kind of 80s, like, gla like f funny glam rock band. They've been together for years and they've played, I think, twice. <laughs> All up. <laughs> They're called the Cable Bitches. And um, anyway, so I had like, le like um, leotards on and like a blonde wig and like a rock and roll t-shirt and he was wearing a corset and a wedding veil. And we did this raunchy duet. <clears throat> and then we, we redid it at our wedding a few years later. So, we're big KISS fans, obviously. So I'd like to, I'd like to sing this song for you now. It's a, a, a very acoustic ukulele version. And um, I'm not that knowledgeable of the lyrics, so I have them printed out here. So apologies to any <clears throat> massive KISS fans out there. This is pro you're probably not gonna like this. I'm just, I'm just warning you now. Actually, maybe I can get you guys to sing along a bit. So you could maybe go and and I'll play the right chord. And again, and again. You know it. Yeah, you got it. That's great. Perfect. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
something that drives me wild And tonight We're gonna make it all come true Cause girl you were made for me And girl I was made for you oh. I will No, I can't get enough Oh, I can't get enough Oh, no, I can't get enough Oh, do 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 That was some pretty awesome doo-doos. Thanks, Sydney. I think Kiss are about to tour for the last time ever, aren't they? Was it a bit of a John Farnham last time ever? I think they've done that a few times, haven't they? All right, <clears throat> we're going to do another co cover song by the Divinals that I put on my, uh, my Oz album. I released a, a covers album called Oz, which is, a, which is an album of all Australian covers. And uh, this is one of my favourites. It's very fun to sing. This is Back to the Wall.
It's the day after Valentine's Day, so I'd still like to dedicate this next song of the special to, to all the lovers out there, all the, any kind of love really, sibling love. I dedic yesterday I dedicated it to, to, to the lovers out there and then I realised that was really weird because it's a song about my sister. <laughs> so I changed that. Dedicate this to all. Are there, any, are there any siblings here tonight together? Ah, oh, yeah. Go the sibling love. All right. This one's for you and all the other thousands of people. If you'd like to sing along, I would love it so much. As the sun's going down with all these... I think we're all having eyegasms up here, aren't we? Looking at this, looking at that. It is, you guys have got the worst view, I'm sorry. But this is, uh, this is really special, it's so beautiful. This is the special too. Keyboard is on. It's not your fault. <laughs> Nobody said it was your fault, Alana. Is that better? It sounded a bit space agey. <laughs> is that alright? I can't tell. <laughs> This is a really serious song, guys. It's not supposed to happen. Is that center right? You guys can just sing really loudly so we can't hear the piano. Thumbs up. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Mate. Ah, uh, we're doing this together. This is a team effort. Okay. <clears throat> I have hardly been outside my room in days Cause I don't feel that I deserve the sunshine's rays The darkness helped until the whiskey wore away And it was then I realised the conscience never fades When you're young this image of your life That you be scrupulous And one day even make a wife And you make boundaries That you never dreamed of cross Then if you happen to You wake completely lost But I will fight for you sure that I will fight until we're the special two once again and we will only need each other we'll breathe together our hands will not be torn to hold another cause we're the special two and we could only see each other 
we'd bleed together These arms will not be torn The whole and others Is where the special to This song is supposed to sound. <laughs> there we go. Does that sound like a, a whirly to you? Yep, there we go. There we go. Been some fun little interludes in this show, isn't there? I should learn some better interlude music. <laughs> That's all I know. This is Warm Whispers. Stay surrounding me, surrounding me. Yeah. 
the sense it's all me done Just them, just me And she pulled my stitches one by one Looked at my insides, clicking and time And said this will all just have to come undone A triangle trying to squeeze through a circle She tried to plot me so I'd feed But doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that need to close the heart? Pleasure to play for you guys tonight. Massive thank you to Stella Donnelly for opening up and John Butler for sharing the stage. It is a real, real uh, privilege and an honour to be on the road with him again. It's been 14 years since we've done it, so this is really, really fun. And um, so incredibly special to be playing in this iconic venue. So I'd like to finish on a song that I wrote about the night sky. We're almost there. I wrote this uh, up in Broome, looking up at the, uh, the Cable Beach night sky. And uh, there were so many, so many stars up there because it's so far away from the city that I had one of those moments where you feel so tiny and insignificant and, and it's, uh, it's really liberating and it puts everything into perspective. So this is a song um, about that moment and I guess it's a song about listening to your, to your inner voice. It's called Steer. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.
about the search ends here Where the night is totally clear And your heart is fierce So now you finally know You can throw it go you can steal So hold this feeling like a newborn Sydney!